Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Buried One. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to mine Raven coin on your AMD and Nvidia graphics cards. It is a new coin with a new algorithm and yes of course it's going to be profitable. Okay, so let's go over the coin specifications first. So it's using the new algorithm X16R and you can read the white paper all about this new algorithm on their Bitcoin Talk page. They've included a link over there and I will put them in the description. So the block time of this cryptocurrency is only one minute, so it's really fast transactions. The block rewards are 5,000 Raven coins every single block and the total coin supply is 21 billion coins in total. So the founder's reward, well, there is none and the ICO is not there too. So it's pretty nice that these guys have gotten no founder's rewards. That is really certain that they, they think that their coin is gonna work. So they are not going for the money. So this is pretty, pretty promising. So first of all, what you need is a wallet, of course, or a client. So what I recommend you is to download their own uh, binary release of their wallet for Linux, Mac and Windows. Um, it's, it's really simple and straightforward on how to install this. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So if you are on Linux, you go to the Linux map and if you're on Windows, you just go to the Windows map. So what you do here is you save every single file inside here and you put it inside a folder. So actually the ones you need is the raven.exe, the one with the TX, the QT. So all the XA files is the ones that you need. So what you need to, to do is just download it and put it on your desktop or something inside a map. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. I already did that. So I'm gonna show you guys that. So if we go to desktop and to our crypto wallets, we come to the Ravencoin map where I put all these four thingies inside it. And if you just run it, it will open up the wallet. It starts synchronizing. And as you can see, we have been mining a little bit of Raven already for a couple of hours. And we received about 200 Raven from the pool. So now that you have your wallet and you want to receive a payment, for example, you can do request payment and you will find your address over there. So if you can copy your address, you can also click the link over here and you'll be having that pretty fast and done. So now that we have our wallet address, we can continue on and showing you how to mine it with an AMD miner, for example. Okay, so now we fixed, oh no, we didn't. Okay, so now we fixed the Ravencoin mining page. So you can always find it on buried1.com. You can kind of always find the miner downloads there. But the one that we're gonna be using today is for AMD Windows. You can also have AMD Linux, but unfortunately I have no Nvidia Linux, but only Nvidia and Windows. So these are the miners that you can use. So we're gonna be using the SG miner for Ravencoin that supports the X16R algorithm and you simply download it from the website and extract it to your desktop. In some cases, it's going to tell you that it is a virus and that is because um, your Windows Defender is going to tell you like, hey, this algorithm is kind of unknown. So we're gonna, yeah, as you can see, threats found. So it's gonna tell you that there's a threat, but actually this is a new algorithm. So Windows automatically thinks that it is for hacking. So that's why it's deleting it from your computer. So what you need to do is you will probably need to make an exclusion in your Defender to make sure that it's not gonna read it as a virus. Okay, so now that you extracted it to your desktop, you will see a buried one start minor ravencoin.batch file. And what you need to do is just edit the file. So you can open it up and you will see that there's kind of a lot inside here. So the only things you need to change today are your wallet address that you just had from your Ravencoin wallet, the one from here. Uh, you need to paste it in here so you are mining on your own address. The second thing you need to be changing is the intensity on your graphics card. So these are AMD Vegas that I'm gonna be using today. They kind of work the best on intensity 21. So between 18 or 20 is usually the ones that you need to look out for, but you can give it a shot yourself and increase it by one every single time from 18, 19, 20 and see what hash rate is the best for your GPUs. So after you change your wallet address and your intensity, you can just save up the file and you can start mining. 
So just double click the file and the first time it will start generating a kernel so it will take a few minutes to get started on mining but eventually it should look like this. So what are you gonna see here is kind of a different miner than Claymore. Some people don't actually use SG miner or CC miner so it's kind of different. So what is actually your hash rate? Well the ones over here like 2.792 is for example the hash rate of the first graphics card and GPU 2 is 5.759 for example. So you will see it go up by just a few times and as you can see we have some in invalid job IDs that is actually rejected share. So make sure that your intensity is right because if you're seeing like 20 or 70 invalid jobs then you're probably having too much intensity on your GPUs. So figuring out which one is the best is kind kind of easy though. Like I'm gonna give you an example here. So we're like mining at eight megahashes per second on every GPU, eight or nine. It takes a moment to get to the right hash rate, of course, because your average hash rate is over here. It will take up to 10 minutes or so to be very accurate. So these GPUs are running at 17 megahashes per second in total at this very moment. So that is kind of their hash rate without overclocking because overclocking is kind of weird on this algorithm in some ways if you try to increase the memory for example on amd vegas it kind of crashes out and the gpu start hanging so i'm not really sure what the overclocking settings can be but i'm pretty sure that you can figure it out pretty soon like trying to tune it a little bit and you will figure out what your graphics cards are capable of doing pretty easily okay so to keep track of your mining rigs on Ravencoin on this pool, you need to go to mindpool.com or I will put the link in the description below so you guys can find it really easy. And what you need to do is go to Wallet, it's the third tab on their website. And what you need to do is you need to paste in your address. But as you can see, we are already logged in because we already submitted our wallet. So as you can see over here, you can see the payment that has been paid to your wallet. So as you can see, it is pretty accurate. So we should have received 25524. It's exactly the same as over here. So the pool fees are 0%. That is very interesting. So the total earned coins is about 300 Raven right now for kind of like eight hours of mining. So as you can see over here, the last 24 hour balance is over here too. And also our last 24 hour hash rate. So as you can see, we had an average of about 70 mega ashes per second. Um, our AMD Vega rig is running about 50 to 70 mega ashes per second. It's really going up and down too much. I'm not sure why that actually is. But the auto miner that we just put in is doing about 13 mega ashes per second right now. It should go up to 17 or sometimes even 20. I'm not really sure why the hash rate is doing that. But I'm going to give you also an example on what this cryptocurrency is making a difference on right now. So as I said before, this cryptocurrency is pretty weird at tuning your GPU. So I'm currently using my stock settings and I'm figuring out which ones are the best for AMD Vegas. But when I was mining Ethereum at about 250 mega ashes per second with six AMD Vega 56s with the Sapphire limited editions, we were using about 1200 watts on total power usage. But this is using 1750 watts doing about 70 mega ashes per second on Ravencoin. So I'm not really sure why the power is drawing so much instead of other algorithms because this is really the highest I've ever seen on my AMD Vegas. So we need to figure out in the future what the best settings are going to be because this is pretty power consuming. So now that we kind of know how to keep track of our miners and stuff, I think we're done here. So if you still have questions, make sure to put them in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.